All right. So the question here deals with consumer surplus in the market for lemons and lemonade. Now, before we jump into the particular uh, situation in our question, let's just refresh what consumer surplus is. So demand is downward sloping, supply is upward sloping. On the x-axis, we have quantity, and on the y-axis, we have price. Now, the intersection between these is what we call equilibrium. So let's call this Q1, and this can be P1. Now, the consumer surplus will be the difference between what I'm willing to pay and what I'm actually paying. So it will be this area. All right, so this is consumer surplus. Now, in this particular scenario, um, our lemon crop has soured. So I'm the producer for lemons. And for every price that you're willing to give me, I'm going to be willing to produce less. So there will be an inward shift in my supply. And this will produce S prime. And what happens to our equilibrium now is that our quantity will decrease to Q2 and our price will increase to P2. Now for our um, consumer surplus, we'll see that there will be a decrease in our consumer surplus. So consumer surplus decreases. A very similar story will happen in the market for lemonade. So on the y-axis, we have price, x-axis is uh, quantity, again, supply, demand, and our equilibrium, Q1 and P1. Now, if I'm the supplier of lemonade, when I make my lemonade, I have to go to the store and I have to buy lemons. But now, my lemons are much more expensive. So the price of my input, so the input price increases. So whenever I make one glass of lemonade, I'm going to have to charge more. And here is my upward sloping supply and there's a inward shift again. So the story is very similar here for both cases, but um, the reason behind it is different. So here we have an inward shift. So there's less quantity supplied and it's going to cost more. And again, my consumer surplus is lower than what I had before. So there's a decrease in consumer surplus for lemonade. 